Hello and welcome back to another episode of Video Game Easter Eggs, the series where we take a look at some of the latest and not so latest Easter eggs in video games, with the only rule being that they cannot have featured on my channel before. In today's episode we dig up a fossil in Battlefield 5, we find a very familiar foe in Uncharted for a Thief's End, and we find a killer teddy bear in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. As always if you think you know of an Easter egg that I'm yet to cover then the best place to let me know is in the comments section or on my social media accounts, the links to which are in the description. Oh and if you are enjoying this series then a like is really appreciated. Anyway without further delay, let's get started. So first up let's take another look at the incredibly fun moving out. Of course we briefly covered moving out a few episodes back, but it turns out we missed a couple of cool references, the first of which can be found on the Packmore River level. Now I know I said the reference could be found on the Packmore River level, well it turns out the entire level is a reference to the classic arcade game Frogger. The next easter egg features a group of reptiles that seem to be referenced all the time in video games. The first sighting of these four legged fighters can be found on the Pepperoni Palace level. So this house, full of pizza, seems to be occupied by a turtle wearing a red headband. This is of course meant to be a reference to Raphael from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's not the only time we'll see our hard shelled friends either. On the Obadiah's Orchard level you can spot two more turtles sitting in the river, those being Michelangelo and Leonardo. No sign of the purple bandana wearing Donatello though, so I'll be sure to keep my eyes peeled. Oh and one more thing from Obadiah's Orchard, the dialogue between the characters at the start of the level is a reference to this scene from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost arc. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? The final Easter egg from Moving Out actually took me the longest to find. At the game's intro screen, the license plate on the moving truck changes each time you load the game up or head back to the title screen. A lot of these are moving house puns, but there is one that is a little different. After several reloads, the bought license plate finally appeared. This license plate is of course a reference to this scene from The Simpsons. Cool, personalized plates. Barclay, Barry, Bert, Bort. Oh, come on, Bort? Mommy, Bobby, buy me a license plate! No, come along, Bort. Are you talking to me? In the last episode of this series, we discovered an easter egg in Black Ops 4 that had gone undiscovered for nearly two years. Well, this next easter egg may have been hidden for even longer. A couple of the locations in the excellent Uncharted 4 were larger than a standard Uncharted level and allowed you to explore your surroundings. Of course, these levels weren't massive, but they were big enough to hide our next easter egg. During chapter 12, you can find this. So this is a click up from The Last of Us which has somehow found its way into the Indian Ocean. This find was even verified by Anthony Vaccaro, an environment artist at Naughty Dog. Up next is another easter egg from the excellent Doom Eternal. At this point we've covered well over 30 easter eggs from Doom Eternal but there is still one that we've missed. Those who have been following this series may remember the Bill and Ted phone box we found on the Ark Complex level a couple of episodes back. Well right next to that phone box you can find this. So 
So the quote, life is never completely without its challenges, is attributed to somebody known as SL. The SL in question is actually Stan Lee, who sadly passed away in 2018. Up next is a game that was released all the way back in 2001 and is still going strong today, which seems crazy to me. RuneScape is an MMORPG that you could originally play in your web browser only. Well, fast forward to 2020 and along with plenty of updates and balance patches, RuneScape is still going. The first easter egg of interest from RuneScape is actually pretty cool. This NPC called Anumanem was apparently reciting a song about somebody called Stan just before we arrived. When you actually speak to Anumanem, he will say this. So of course this is a reference to the rapper Eminem and specifically the song Stan and Without Me. The next easter egg from RuneScape can be found in El Karid. So that jump was referred to as a parrot drop and featured a bird squawk as you leapt from the roof. This was a reference to the Leap of Faith from the Assassin's Creed series. So this next easter egg will tick off our one it, back to the future or titanic reference that we must include in every episode of this series just to prove how common those particular easter eggs are. The reference from today's video comes from the easter egg field payday 2 and can be found on the Alaskan heist level. So off into the distance, you can spot two bodies on a floating door. Shooting at them will earn you the achievement, there was room for two, referencing the fact that both Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet could have laid on the door together. So recently, Battlefield 5 received its final update. Released at the beginning of June, the update included new weapons, gadgets and vehicles. Also added in the patch were new maps, but the map that we're interested in today is the Almarge Encampment map. At this location, you can find this. So a T-Rex skull along with toy T-Rex models. What was it that the man-eater narrator said about T-Rexes again? If a T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur. So the final Easter egg in today's video comes from the gift that keeps on giving. It was in the last episode of this series that we covered the last roll Easter egg from the Isle 9 map. And today's easter egg is probably better. On the new trenches map you can find several numbers scattered around the level. These numbers are random every time so the numbers that you see me find today won't be the same for you. These numbers are actually the code to enter this bunker and to make sure you have them in the right order follow the route that I take. After finding all of the numbers, enter them into the keypad by the bunker door.
So inside, we can see a group of teddy bears having some sort of strategy meeting, but that's not the strangest thing we can find in this room. If you look at the red phone on the desk, you'll see another code written down, and I don't think that this code changes. Head back to the keypad and enter this code for this to happen. I mean, I did say that this room was going to get stranger. It seems that answering the phone is the cue for a giant teddy bear wielding two miniguns to shoot the room up. Well, I say shoot the room up, most of the bullets end up in the back of this poor teddy's chair. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, then a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter eggs and secrets in games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. If you want to support the channel further, as well as see your name in the credits and get access to videos early, then check the links to my Patreon in the description or become a YouTube member by clicking the join button. As always, thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.